If you are going through an illness right now, I want you to know that it's not your fault, but you can take responsibility for the healing journey. Very often, we don't heed the wake-up call, and all we do is we drug the symptoms. We mask the symptoms with drugs and with medication, and then the wake-up call gets louder and louder. So you have to take responsibility for the healing journey, but it's not your fault if you get sick. When I was going through my own cancer, after the initial diagnosis, the disease continued to progress because my fear of the disease continued to get much, much worse. So at that time, at first, I thought I would go with alternative treatment first because I had already watched what the chemotherapy and the radiation was doing to my friend. So I followed all kinds of different alternative protocols, but I was so fearful. Everything I did came from a place of fear. What I would like to invite you to do is that when you choose a treatment, do it because you are moving towards health, not because you are running away from illness. It's a very different mindset. So as I was researching all the different kinds of protocols, what was going on with me was that people who were like the doctors, the doctors who diagnosed me, all the traditional, conventional people that I was surrounded with, they all told me that I was crazy not to listen to the doctors. They were all telling me, I need to do what the doctors say. They were all telling me, I need to do the chemo. Now, all the alternative medicine people, the naturopaths, the ones who were doing all the different types of healings, they were telling me, I can't possibly do the conventional medicine. They were telling me that if I put the chemotherapy and the radiation and all that through my body, I was going to be poisoning my body. And if your body is already sick, you shouldn't be poisoning it even more and adding even more toxins to your body. So I was doing detoxes and things like that with them. And I was finding though that I was getting weaker and weaker. Finally, I gave in and I went for the conventional. Now, what's really interesting is all the people on the conventional side who were saying that you're crazy. If you don't do the conventional medicine, you're going to die. And I find it interesting when people say that because there are a lot of people who have conventional therapies who also die anyway, and that's what I was afraid of. But anyway, finally, I went for the conventional medicine and they told me by this point it was too late. What ended up happening was I died anyway, but I came back anyway. But here's what I learned. It doesn't matter what treatment you choose. The important thing is the treatment needs to empower you. It's not supposed to make you feel fearful. So whether you choose conventional treatment whether you choose alternative treatment, whether you choose a combination of both, whatever you do, whether you choose to detox your diet, whether you choose to, uh, whether you choose to do conventional and then support it, support your body and your immune system with, uh, with different natural therapies, do what makes you feel good. Do what makes you feel that you are handling your illness and that the and the disease is leaving your body. Do what empowers you. What is the most important is how you feel about the healing protocol that you have chosen. That's what's important. The difference between what I'm telling you to do and what I did is that whatever I did, I did it out of fear. I didn't do it because it felt empowering. I wasn't feeling that ah, this is what's going to heal me. I was feeling really fearful of the disease. So in other words, you want something that makes you feel you are moving towards health and not that you are doing something because it makes you fear illness not to do it. That's where I was. I was so scared of the cancer and I was so scared of the treatments. Everything I was doing came from a place of fear. 
a lot of the people who were surrounding me on my journey had mixed feelings about what I was doing, and it added to the confusion. So I, I knew people who were telling me I was crazy if I did the conventional because I was adding toxins in the body. I knew people who were telling me I was crazy because I was turning down conventional medicine. And so what I would suggest you do is whatever path you choose, you then surround yourself with people who will support you on that path. Hat dir dieses Video gefallen? Gib uns ein Zeichen und lasse einen Daumen nach oben da. Bist du interessiert an weiteren solchen kostenlosen Videos? Dann abonniere unbedingt unseren Kanal und drücke die Benachrichtigungsglocke, denn nur so stellst du sicher, dass du kein weiteres Video verpasst. Danke dir und bis zum nächsten Video.